Hey guys, it's Josh from joshmcdonald.net. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I want to make a really quick note. I just want to talk about EDU links and how you can get some. Um, so if you're in the long-term haul, you're not, you know, churn and burn or anything, you actually want to build uh, a relationship with people that are going to link to you um, and you want to work for those links and, and nail some, you know, links with domain authority of 80 or 90, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to do that. So I got this idea because I'm a student at University of Toronto in computer science and my profs love to link out to resources on their website. And me as a student, it wouldn't be hard for me to just email my prof. I mean, you can email a prof. Profs do check all of their emails. That's kind of what they're there for. Um, and you can just say, hey, I found this resource useful, right? Um, you could hustle it even further and find someone in that course and say, hey, I'll give you 20 bucks if you send an email from your, from your school email to, you know, all... You know, five of these professors and say, "Hey, this is this would be useful and uh, to link to on your useful links page." So let's let's dive into it and show you what I mean by that. So I go to University of Toronto, right? There's Harvard, you know, to Harvard.edu, but uh, there's smaller schools. I wouldn't go after Harvard. I'd go after something, you know, something local in your state, something that you know is achievable. Um, so I'll do U Toronto, and they're just switching over to edu. A lot of uh, a lot of the past in the past. It, we didn't have Canada didn't have access to the edu uh, what's it called domain extension it was all .ca but we do have edu now and profs are starting to use that so let's do that and then in quotations just put useful links very simple right and then uh, you know hit enter let's see how many there are okay I spelled it wrong I think it might be just Toronto.edu yeah so it's 460 like I said this this domain is just starting out if you switched over to I don't know Yale there'd be more they go 2200, right? Uh, Umish, right? Okay. Um, so let's go back to Toronto. So we got 460. So now, you know, say we say we have a marketing website, right? We have a blog on on marketing topics. If you're in the long-term strategy, you obviously have a blog, and you obviously have some very very great content that you put a lot of time into uh, to post, or you either or you hired someone to uh, help you with that help you with that. Um, so you have some link worthy content you have content that you're confident that would benefit you know the students taking marketing courses so now you got 73 different uh, websites that say useful links on them and you can go ahead and uh, you know if you're in the marketing industry you know it might be tough if you're going more specific if you're going more uh, into like search engines right you might be able to find some computer science yeah computer science courses that talk about search engines um, web search engine Search engine optimization. I don't know if you'd be able to find anything on that. Got nine here. You went to I don't know. Yeah, there's two. See, it's it's tough when you get into very specific. But if you stay, uh, if you stay just, you know, marketing, right? And then, uh, you know, you can change useful links. Maybe uh, what else would they call it? Resources. You know, same thing. There you go. Get another hundred there. So uh, hopefully you guys can try this out. If you're in the long-term strategy, you might want to try it. If you're uh, churn and burn, this is obviously going to be useless to you. But give it a try. Land some long-term links. Um, build some long-term relationships. Domain authority. You know, University of Michigan, 93 right there. Um, you know, nine out of ten of these might not be great. Actually, probably less. Probably about six out of ten of these are probably not. Uh, you know, something that you can't get into, like a library or, or something like that. But uh, other than that, a little bit of hustle, a little bit of contacting the profs. Um, you should be able to find something. Anyways, it's been Josh McDonald's. Thank you.